Hey everybody, Hellcrax here and welcome to episode 166 of Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere. And today we're going to be talking about the Banshee, the Howlin' Banshee. Yeah, it's an interesting mech that, well, yeah. Not so good, not so great. Alright, here we got a mech that's 95 tons, comes in around 2000 battle value because it has a prefla of weapons on it. All because it carries around something. It's a 4.6.0, so it doesn't have jump jets, which is a lot of tonnage to wrap up in something this big anyway. So not very often you're going to see jump jets on this thing. But it carries around a XL engine. Yes, an XL engine. That's why it can go back to the 4.6 movement instead of the 3S, which was a 3.5 mover, which, you know, that was kind of the main staple of uh, a lot of Steiner stables or anybody that got their hands on one but preferred the 3S with its massive amount of firepower it can bring to the table. But now we have this 5S, which basically kind of delves into that a little bit and throws some XLs on it. Alright, it carries around 240 points of armor, which is sadly lacking by almost, what, 50-something points, I think it is. I do believe that 293 would be maxed out on this thing, so yeah, it's, it's missing quite a bit. So, yeah. It carries around a, some weapon system. It does have a Gauss rifle in the left torso with only one ton of ammo yeah okay why you got 15 16 tons wrapped up into something where you don't have a second ton of ammo with that thing so after eight turns it's going click 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 then we have two er ppcs in the right torso okay there's uh, some firepower there but Wait a minute, that's 15, 30 heat. How many heat sinks does this thing have? Oh, it has 14 doubles. Well, at least it has double heat sinks. But still, you fire the two PPCs and the Gauss rifle, and not even moving modifiers, and you're already up three on the heat scale. So, yeah. So if this thing walks, it's up four. And if it runs and by chance fires all those, it's already a 3-5 mover. Hmm, think about that reminiscent of the actual 3.5 moving Banshee. Alright, so that means this thing has to park a lot. Uh, Sir Park a lot, that's what you call this thing. And then we have an SRM-6 in the right arm. That's up there on the shoulder. With a ton of ammo in the right arm. And then we have two medium lasers in the left arm. Under slung, and then we have two medium lasers in the left and right torso facing towards the rear for anybody that gets behind him with the gear, and then we have two small lasers in the center torso and head. All right, so there we go, that's all the weapon systems on this thing. What do I think of it? Well, I like the firepower on it, great. What I don't like about it, well, you know my feelings on XL engines. About the only time I'm willing to throw an XL on something it may be a light mech medium mech that's job is to be a scout or skirmisher we've had a discussion with this I think in the last one where we're with the uh, we'll be coming up on the previous mech I did and then missile boats fire support mechs if a mech is planning on spending all of its time parked in the back without ever really moving towards the front, uh, yeah, I might be inclined to put an X XL on it. So if you have something that has, oh, let's just take an example. Let's say you have a longbow, all right, and by the, or something similar to that where it has XL engines on it and it has a whole bunch of LRM-20s on it. Okay, that might be something to think about. Uh, so it has some movement to get in and get it out and then has the firepower to lay it down and unload loads all of its uh, ammo bays out empties it and then turns around and walks off the or runs off the board towards the near supply depot okay i can accept that 
because that's how it's designed to work it's not meant to get up close in somebody's face especially if you're inner sphere clan that's a different matter since their xl engines only have two slots in each torso so they can lose a torso and not die inner sphere uh most people look hey it's an assault mech i'm moving towards the front i'm gonna get right in their face and punch and then next thing you know i only got halfway across the field before they killed me because they took an, a torso out and speaking of torso and uh, armor let's see okay right and left torso does have 30 so okay it's got to take two uh clan gauss rifle erppcs or any type of gauss rifle from the inner sphere to you know do that 15 points hit him twice in the same torso okay then it or it's going to take three standard uh ppcs or er inner sphere ppcs to scrape off that armor okay that's acceptable it means it can go toe to toe for a couple turns maybe before that torso is ripped open and you see that nice pulsing heart inside where they reach in and grab it and pull it out so yeah the, this this mech just to me screams hey i'm a fire support mech i'm no longer getting up in your face i'm gonna sit back with the two er ppcs and that grouse rifle for eight turns fire away and then it's like hmm okay i just now i'm carrying around 15 tons of wasted space and a gauss rifle that doesn't have any more ammo so i'm just stuck with the two ppcs and then well you know how that's going to work out because they can't fire the ppcs now if you park this thing uh you can go one complete turn without any type of movement let's say you find yourself a nice little uh heavy woods hack someplace or on the map someplace if you're playing open terrain like i do you end up firing a couple turns and then you're like okay i'm gonna have to shut off a ppc to uh cool off all right there you go so that's basically how you're gonna work this thing because it after two turns of firing the two ppcs and a gauss rifle this thing is running hot so on the third turn it's only firing a ppc and a gauss rifle so they can do that alternating back and forth and on turn eight you're going okay now i only have the two ppcs so i can fire two ppcs on turn nine turn ten i can fire one so it yeah, you see how this is working out so it may be a lot of firepower on paper but in reality you don't want to barbecue your pilot put him in the sauna bath or however he's in a parboil him you know however you want to call it now if you do get in close with this thing you do have two medium lasers and that srm so you're looking at 10 heat right there and then you have you can throw in a ppc that's 25 so if you get close with this and by the time you probably get in close the gauss rifle most likely is getting close to being empty uh so probably you're gonna get a, maybe a turn maybe three out of the gauss rifle before it clicks dry when you're getting clo close enough with the uh short range stuff and then by the time you're in punching range uh the odds are well you're gonna kick with this thing because if you're in punching range you you're not, not going to not use your medium laser in your srm so you're literally going to kick with this thing okay so that is how i kind of look at this mech there are some major flaws with it but you know i guess when you look at the 3050 air clans have hit the frontier rolling over everything and the designers are like we need to throw as much advanced technology on everything to slow these guys down as fast as possible so it was like willy-nilly just like here, here hey i got a i got the kitchen sink throw that on there too <sighs> you know that type of mentality without a lot of thought process going in and that kind of like how it it looks to me you know when you're seeing these kind of designs like that in 3050 but all right now 
there are a prefla of different designs out there well, I'll skip most of them because they're all the third early versions which well, I think I covered in the 3025 version the 3R or 3M or 3S okay all right so here we go through where we talked to the 5S we got the 6S the variant of the uh, Banshee's powered by a light fusion engine and endo steel and carries an LBX 10 for well LBX 10 well a heavy gauss rifle for close I don't really consider an LBX 10 a long-range shooting weapon system now PPC is but not a LBX now the LBX is the, you know if you throw a couple tons of ammo with that so you can carry solid and cluster when you go in the battle the cluster is really good for hitting vehicles or anybody that has their armor scraped off and you use it as a crit hunter even yeah it's still one point damage but if it has an open spot that works great and if you are facing off against VTOLs yes the wonderful thing about the rotor damage is that hey it's knocked down greatly because you know you divide by 10 or something so if you hit a rotor with a AC 2 or 20 hey it's still only two points damage but if you hit him with a cluster one point is still one point so and you have a better chance of taking out the rotors that way so hey hit him with a shotgun all right then it retains a small lasers okay and has 14 and a half tons of armor so we're looking at less armor factor on the 6s so yeah they scraped off um tonnage here and there to put on the heavy gauss rifle and you know obviously you're with the light fusion engine works better but you know you're not have as much tonnage uh, allocated elsewhere then we have the 7s uh, the 7s upgrades the 5s okay with powered by the five the light fusion engine has endo steel carries 15 and a half tons of armor okay so we've went up by a half ton and so that's sort of a benefit has a gauss rifle and er ppc for long range and for close it has the srm6 and four er medium lasers all right so a little bit farther range with the er medium lasers and so you have your long range shooting stuff and then when you get in close you have the, your i've used this one before in part of our jihad campaigns in uh at like gen con origins and stuff like that so it's kind of an interesting design and it survived a little bit longer with the light fusion engine but still uh those guys with their they're just like hey this you get the light fusion engine version yes and they all look at it put all your chits on this guy I'm like, oh, great and then they just blow you off the face of the earth all right then we have the 8s this is a variant of the ben she is created by the word of blake all hail the word of blake when they took over hesperus 2 and 3070. inclusion of triple strength mirmer and a hatchet okay and returns the xl engine and keeps the ubiquitous small laser all right so this thing is designed to heat up and then go hacky slashy with this thing so uh, i prefer to have you know, if you have axes and melee weapons put them on something that's like at least a 5 8 so they can get in there faster kind of hard to put a 5 8 on a 95 ton mech just not possible well i guess kind of possible but you know we're talking different type of technology era all right then we have the er large laser is added for long range so 19 and you have the snub nose ppc effective at medium all right though more damaging up close you have the x delight gyro and four medium lasers and well as a er small occlusion of 13 double heat sinks and that means that they did that because you know they have to tweak their their heat allocate to 
calic allocation man say that 10 times fast to be able to heat this thing up so it gets the benefit of uh, the triple strength then it has a c3 slave which allows the 8s to partake of the targeting telemetry of everybody else so if they're up close or at every and it was you obviously since it's the word of blake you know they everybody likes to get in together and link up and it has 18 tons of armor and a guardian ecm suite oh yeah so there finally we're getting to something that has a lot of armor on it well that makes sense it's a brawler get up close smack him in the face chop chop hack a slash all right then we have the 9s upgrade to the 8s okay and let's see while well, the word of blake held it they retained the light fusion engine but returns the speed to its earliest version carries the uh defiance P heavy ppc and light ppc and it has a gauss rifle for long range combat and should the enemy survive long enough to get close utilizes the three er medium lasers and a single medium laser and it has a srm6 to exploit any type of openings and it carries case oh my gosh we finally have case on something that uh, carrying around us like the number of times i've killed my own mechs when someone hit my gauss rifle and blew it up and then have the cascading effect of damage going in and it has a targeting computer along with the XL gyro. All right, so there we go. Then we have the Knight S2. S2, that sounds like a, hey, I'm the S2 from the uh, battalion. And the version of the Banshee carries a heavy PPC, two light PPCs, a Gauss rifle, and ER medium laser. All the weapons are tied together with a target computer and a C3 slave allowed to share telemetry. All right, so then we have the light fusion engine and xl gyro to free up weight for these weapons so that's kind of like the epitome of uh, it's sort of able to just hammer away at stuff at a longer range and move in close and and link up together so that's pretty much all your different variants of these things now if by chance you happen to get your hands on one hey or if you're a mercenary company you probably have a 3s and you go man look look at all this cool technology if you by chance for some reason are able to get a 5s i probably most of the time would say hey it's for sale anybody want it i'll trade it for a 3s version and then we can take the money extra that we made off of the sale and upgrade it 3s Yes, the 3S is slow. It's a slow pig. But uh, it's be, in the long run, you're looking at something that's going to be a lot cheaper to run. Especially not worrying about an XL engine. So, if you by chance have a 3S and you want to upgrade it, upgrade the PPC to an ER PPC. You got an SRM6. Uh, obviously, that's already in the rack. You have three medium lasers and the right torso. So upgrade the AC-10 to an LBX-10 with two tons of ammo. And the ERPPC, another one. And then you have, I'm going to upgrade those small lasers to uh, medium lasers. So you're carrying around something that has, this, my version had six medium lasers. Hey, I'm a medium laser guy. If you get up close, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of fun shots to the face. So it's one of those mechs when you get in close, it runs cool and you start hitting with solid or uh, cluster munitions with that LBX. And then you have the two PPCs. So you got a PPC, two PPCs, LBX-10 for long range support. And then when they get in close, you go use the short range stuff. All right. But and it's like, how do you do all these things with maximum armor? hey double heat sinks it carries right 21 heat sinks i think it is so just downgrade those heat sinks to doubles carry around 16 enough to take care of the heat that you're going to generate from the two ppcs and the uh lbx 10 yes it's going to run a little hot especially depending on your movement if you're walking or running so there you go 
so now you have something a mercenary company probably will have and then you just get some upgraded package stuff from whatever supply place you can get your hands on and not worry about an XL engine and hey you got a decent mech it's gonna survive it's got good armor and hopefully go toe-to-toe -to -toe with stuff so it can shoot down range better and you know do some damage and if something gets in their face hey they're really gonna know it there's a lot of damage coming your way from the short range stuff so that's pretty much it uh, when it comes to this mech look at it like the 5s if you by chance are offered one uh, let's see hey use it but uh, go with the caveat this thing's gonna be have to park itself in the rear with the gear and, until things are looking a little more beat down where it might survive a little bit longer with those XL engines and if you do have by chance you know in a campaign pick one up sell it uh, trade it in for something better all right that's pretty much it for the Banshee uh, it could be better I guess it could be worse and I've seen worse before so there you go Hope you guys like it, like and subscribe, and share with all your friends. And we will talk with you all later.